Uh, this is group number five, number four. Uh, we are we were having the problem on how to create a strategy using low-cost tools so that to promote, educate, and inform, uh, mobilize a community for positive behavior change regarding HIV/AIDS and other diseases. Uh, we had identified the following low-cost technologies uh, to handle the same issue. One, use of Facebook pages. Two, use of face, uh, Facebook groups. Then three, use of SMS on different platforms including Java, the internet, browsers, and all those that we have been proposed. Thank you. Uh, for the purpose of this, we have decided to provide effective and accurate information on proper condom use to youth ages 15 to 24 years. All right, uh, and uh, uh, the summary of the proposed so uh, solution, there are some steps and uh, we came up with five steps. The first step associates to, uh, we, we need to identify the target population. Uh, these are the community health workers, the peer educators and the community. The second step was to identify the preferred technology to use so as to reach the target population. And um, the two uh, preferred was um, Facebook and uh, SMS. Uh, and the three uh, categories, they are community health workers of which we can reach them through SMS, browser and Java. Uh, the reason is because uh, there are some challenges because um, of the nature of the phone and also there are uh, some categories of, uh, of people that are they, uh, they, they can't access network and also the education level. And the peer educators, the peer educators, uh, these are, uh, are the group that um, we know that they have that information, they are educated, so uh, they can be reached uh, via SMS, browser, Java, and even Facebook group. And the last group is community. This is a diverse group uh, of which um, uh, it can be reached uh, through SMS, browser, Java, Facebook group, but depends with the, uh, with the nature of the group. It might be uh, youth or um, uh, adults or a PLHIV uh, limit. And then the third step is creating a discussion platform uh, of which this will share, uh, it, 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 it will bring a, a platform where we are going to post some discussion and have up and, 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 and we need to share. And also the fourth uh, is to send invites through the group and SMS alerts and also we need to share the videos and the pics so that um, the the targeted to, to respond to the discussion. Then the last step was, uh, after all the four steps, you need to sit down and review the comments and feedback posted on the discussion platform. So uh, we, after brainstorming about this subject and uh, uh, the problem that uh, people are facing in different community, we found that uh, these are existing tool and uh, it's clear that they can help, but. Uh, People haven't used it. So my colleagues are here, one from uh, Tanzania, uh, thought about like uh, creating that Facebook page for the community he's work, uh, she's working with and uh, start updating it and with information, especially because she works uh, with, uh, um, she works with uh, uh, people with uh, HIV and, uh, and pr primary she's, uh, she's involved in like uh, um, Educating people and uh, on uh, on the, the disease itself. So and uh, another another member of the group also decided to review the existing tool he has already online because he has some group uh, Facebook group that he he doesn't really update and he didn't have the the right strategy of uh, spreading the word. So he's planning of on uh, uh, reworking on his on that uh, page and uh, update it regularly and uh, see how we can integrate it with SMS mechanisms. Um, the last, also he's planning to use uh, SMS alerts because he found that. <laughs> okay. uh, he found that um, it's one of the effective uh, way to communicate with people uh, on a remote uh, uh, places.